Implications of implicit differentiation is that we may find derivatives of functions that we discussed before, but we did not discuss in terms of their derivatives, like the arcsine. The arcsine is a function y as a function of x, and x, the domain of the arcsine, is minus 1, 1, and the arcsine is the inverse of the sine, so that the image of the arcsine equals the interval minus a half pi, a half pi. So now we try to find the derivative of arcsine. Well, first of all, we will assume that for all x in minus 1, 1, we actually have a derivative, so that y prime of x exists. Well, if so, then y is a differentiable function of x on the open interval minus 1, 1. Now, if y equals arcsine of x, we know that the sine of y equals x. Yeah, since the arcsine and the sine are inverse functions. Now, the sine of y is a, com a com composition of two differentiable functions, the sine and y. Yeah, on the right hand side, we also have a differentiable function as in terms of x, so we may differentiate this equation on the left hand side and on the right hand side. On the left hand side, we get a derivative of sine of y, and on the right hand side, we get the derivative of x. So if we apply the chain rule on the left hand side, we get y prime times the cosine of y. And on the right hand side, we get just one. So that y prime equals one over the cosine of y. So y prime equals one over the cosine of y. So recall that uh, the cosine of y is larger than zero, since y is contained in the interval minus half pi, half pi. And uh, minus half pi and half pi are excluded. So the cosine of y is larger than zero. Now we may use the identity that the cosine squared plus the sine squared equals one, so that we may write the cosine of y in a different way, since this is now plus the square root of 1 minus the sine squared. Now here we use the fact that the cosine, cosine of y is positive, strictly positive. Now we plug in, substitute the value for y, since y equals arcsine of y. So now we get under the root, we get the root, the square root of 1 minus the sine of arcsine squared. Well, we know that the sine and the arcsine are inverse functions, so what remains is just x. So, as a derivative, we conclude that the derivative of the arcsine equals 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. And this holds for all x's in the domain, minus 1, 1, except for the boundary points.